Okay, okay. One, two, three. Welcome back to the farm. <laughs> Can you say it or no? Yeah, that would suit you right. I mean, yeah, well, I guess Wait, we're restart okay. it. No, restart I think it, it. Oh, just restart. cut it out. Two, three. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the farm. farm. <laughs> no. One. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the farm. To the farm. It is Monday, the 28th of December. Um, we're looking at a snowy, blustery day outside. It's about a 14 mile an hour wind speed out of the west. That's for you, Brian. I know you love the weather report. The time in China is about uh, 6 a.m. No, I don't know. Who cares? Folks, uh, we're out in the barn today. We've got a few chores to do. Um, I wanted to show you what we've done with all of our animals for the winter. Um, this morning we cleaned the chicken coop and uh, put down three fresh bags of pine shavings. And we've got some happy chickens enjoying, uh, enjoying a clean coop. I just returned their feeders and refilled the water. Um, actually, it was time to put the base heater underneath the water tank, uh, underneath their water in the chicken coop and get an extension cord here and plugged in. Here's a couple more critters that have made their way into the barn. Here's our goats. They're in this back corner pen. I don't know if you can see inside that pen, but there is a miniature St. Juliana pig. Um, that one's just a little tyke. And it's not feeding time, so she's taking a nap. And you've got another one over here. He's full size. This guy's name is Mr. Nelson. Hey, Mr. Nelson, you wanna say hi to everybody? What's up? What's up, big guy? Mr. Nelson could probably make the uh, one of the ugliest pets contest and be a winner. Um, he's not a real looker, but the wife and the kiddos love him. Then we've got the rabbit hutches here. Where's Poppy? Poppy, are you going to come make an appearance? Poppy's hiding. Or is Poppy in the house? I wouldn't be surprised if my daughter has Poppy on a little field trip. Nope, there's Poppy. What you doing? If you can see inside there, my daughter got this little uh, rabbit hay feeder for Christmas. She was so excited. Hey, Poppy. I'm not sure what type of rabbit this one is. I have not a lot to say about Poppy. This neat cage was made by my father-in-law. Um, it was designed, <laughs> designed by my father-in-law to the specs that my daughter gave him. Then of course, we've got a couple more rabbits over here in this corner. These are lion heads. Cotton and Storm are these two names. We got these, we got these rabbits from a good friend of mine and uh, they fit nicely in here. Everybody's under the roof high and dry. And the last of the animals, where are my gloves? I got them. All right, we're gonna try and make this quick, guys. I did a farm tour video that was 28 minutes long. So if I'm rushing, it's for a purpose. I've got a lot to do and a lot to show you. I've got limited battery strength, so I'm gonna lose you here shortly. Here we are in the feed room. When I do buy feed, we stash it in the barrels there. We've got some corn. We've got all of our minerals and bags here in the corner. Coming in through the feed room, um, this was an old garage lean-to, and I've since turned it into our sheep pen. It's right off the hay barn, and I'll show you the hay barn here in a second. We put up their feeder here, added a window, kind of made this wall here, and uh, the girls have a, a beautiful place, high and dry, out of the weather. It's convenient. We've got a plugged in water here in the corner. 
So the biggest convenience is that it's right here next to the hay barn. I'll take you in here real quick. This is a quick farm tour. All right, the barn is getting empty and that's what we want to see. The back section, there's five sections in this hay barn and I call a section from the wall to the first beam and then obviously to the second beam, the second section. So there's three sections um, that are very low here. This third section's got some alfalfa bales and uh, those will be for sale. And this section one and two is still some alfalfa hay bales. And uh, we actually have a buyer for those, but um, we're just waiting for the time to be right, for it to be convenient for him to come pick up his hay. And of course here in section four, we've got some grassy bales um, that were topped with some alfalfa. And so what I've been doing is slowly but surely removing some of those second crop bales um, that were inconveniently placed on top of our first crop. And then of course in section five for our cows is new seeding. Um, it's a bit coarser, it's not great uh, horse hay. So of course it gets fed to our cows. I'm gonna make my way up here, give you a view of the hay barn from up high. There it is. All right. We've got such a brisk wind going on outside that I'm gonna open this door, kind of give you a shot of where we're at if you're confused. Um, can't, can't make a video outside today, guys. It is way too windy. Come on, there we go. All right, my other videos, I've talked about the east side of the barn. So out here, we've got Claire, Rosie, and Belle. There's that little DIY feeder that I made. There's, I did a video on that, but it comfortably, you can stash four small squares in there and uh, the cows take their time and eat. Um, they're forced to sort of take a small, small bites at a time. So it's nice because there's not a lot of waste on the ground. Um, there's two uh, spot out there where two round bales were and uh, these cows do just as good of a job as the bull did at destroying a round bale. And uh, there's a lot of waste. So I need another round bale ring, but uh, it's a little bit busy. I've got to put out round bales today for the other guys and I'm gonna bring one here. Um, we've got some snow already on the ground as you can see and we've got more forecast. So I'm gonna let you go. I'll pick up back when I'm uh, out at the shed. All right, if you didn't believe me, it's windy. I'm not even sure if you can hear me. Those critters I was just showing you are in the milk barn, or the old milk barn. And uh, I had the truck tractor plugged in here for the last half an hour or so. So we're gonna see if she starts and how she starts. Like I said, the uh, steers and the bull and a couple of cows that are left on this side, they're waiting for their round bale and uh, cleaning that chicken coop, low battery. Cleaning that chicken coop took longer than I thought, so. All right, the tractor's been plugged into the block heater. I would say it's about a half an hour, we'll unplug. All right, she's in park. Let's see how she starts. like summertime. I think the actual temperature is 28 degrees. So feels like 15 with the wind. Half hour being plugged in the tractor starts like a dream. I'm going to put out a couple of round bales. Um, I've already shown you that quite a few times guys. Our A stash here in the shed is dwindling as well. We're down to the last 10 round bales. I hope you enjoyed the the, uh, the intro with my brothers. Um, we didn't really have a great Christmas celebration. Nobody got together under one roof all together. We did visit shortly in the driveway. Um, it was pretty cold, but I was able to get my brothers their new, their versions of the hat and, um, and get a couple pictures. We had some fun with that intro. I hope you guys enjoyed the farm tour video. Um, 
the phone's about to die, so I gotta let you go. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Hey, little Betsy.